Good to see you here. Uh, if you like, pop something in the chat box. It's always fun to, you know, connect with the people that are on on at the same time as me. Um, if you haven't done one of these before, um, I am I'm Ryan Nell. Um, founded Levitate back in spring 2018, and um, yeah, I've been kind of quietly getting on with um, trying to put meditation in front of more people. Um, ironically, uh, it was in, in its initiation um, or initial stages, uh, and it, it's always been very, very much about um, connection and, uh, and achieving that not through an app, not through a screen, but through sitting with each other in the same room. Uh, so so the, the previous month has been this kind of great journey into the unknown, but I feel like we're all on that together and, um, and we are connected just by dint of sharing a moment of our days with each other. So um, the, well, the theme of today is focus. Why am I thinking about focus? Because it's it's a Monday. I had a gave myself a blissful day off over the weekend and um, attempted to relax because uh, my inbox has been blowing up, which is both uh, very exciting but also um, totally overwhelming. Uh, and um, and uh, I, you know, I very often I like to try and teach the classes that um, that I would like to attend. So um, so focus is a big one. We we know that specific types of meditation can really really help develop your focus. Um, it does very much depend on the style of meditation. If you're doing a compassion meditation, it is doing very little for your focus, but it is growing your ability to be compassionate. Uh, and if you're doing a sort of open awareness meditation where you are uh, very much connecting with uh, the your senses, the sounds around you, the colors, um, the textures, etc., then you are growing your ability to feel deeply connected to your environment. You're also kind of teasing out this idea that you're not simply your thoughts, you're not simply your physical sensations, you are the space or the awareness that's holding all of these events, experiences. Uh, and then there is, you know, kind of breath meditation, um, you may know it as mindfulness. Mindfulness is such a pretty broad chirp. Using that as uh, a hook for your attention. Uh, once you've got that little hook, then you have a reference point. So whenever you stray from it, whenever you find yourself um, listening to the sounds around you or lost in thought or planning for tomorrow or worrying about a conversation that already happened yesterday, you have a place to keep on returning to. Um, that is the purest form of developing your focus through meditation. It is very like you might strengthen a muscle or a group of muscles to keep on coming back to where you had intended to place your focus. It feels rather relevant for a Monday, uh, especially one in which your inbox might be uh, overflowing and uh, well, the 24 new news cycle, 24 hour news cycle hasn't exactly stopped, but um, um, there have been developments over the weekend and we're all playing catch up. So we're going to use a few different techniques just to achieve a level of focus and calm, but the idea is that we relax our bodies so that they're a little bit less noisy and we start to train our focus. So together, let's just begin by taking a 
A few breaths, we'll breathe in through our noses and out through our mouths. So with me, a long, slow breath in. Just let that go. And again, in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And in. And out. Let's allow our eyes to start to fall closed. As we continue to breathe, much effort trying to block out all the distractions because they're going to keep on coming. The thoughts are going to keep on arriving. Our bodies are going to continue to clamor for our attention. Uh, there will be sounds, there will be notifications on our phones, there'll be other distractions. So we don't need to waste any energy trying to block all of that out or curate our reality. But we want to, in this instance, be a little more deliberate about coming back to our breath. So we're going to start off by just allowing temples to relax, your shoulders, your back, your chest, your belly, your hips, your pelvis, your seat. Uh, just letting go of any tension that we've been holding on to. But we want to attempt to, while we relax our bodies, to keep our minds uh, clear, sharp, awake, alert. a sort of restful attention. We want to be calm but totally plugged in. So that we don't get kind of lost in a just a wide open landscape of everything that's going on. We'll use our breath as a tool. So if you shift your breath to just breathing through your nose, if you can, if that's comfortable. And I want you just to notice where you feel the breath in your body. Your chest, your belly, your upper lip, where is it for you? And see if you can rest your attention just there. You may like to take your hands and just put them on that part of your body. Uh, so that you're you know, just reinforcing this connection. The fact that we're not connecting with our breath on some kind of metaphysical level or metaphorical level, we are really directly talking about the physical sensation of your breaths in your body. Can you stay with a single breath and notice how it changes in sensation from the beginning of the inhale to the middle and the top? 
You notice whether there's a little gap before the exhale begins. And how it feels as the air flows back out. Can you follow a breath as it enters your nostrils? Heads back through your nose to your throat, back of your mouth, your chest and down into your belly. And follow it as it travels back out. The more nuance, the more detail, the more attention we can bring to our breath, the more easy it is to stay focused on it. You don't have to insert a pause between the breaths if there isn't one. You just want to notice however your breath is. Now you can play with this, you can, for example, together let's breathe in for the count of four, and hold for the count of four, breathe out for the count of four, and just hold it out in front of us for a few beats. And breathe naturally. Sometimes that simple breath, call it box breathing, call it 16 seconds to calm, about four seconds on the inhale, four on the hold, four on the exhale, four as a little gap and apnea before you start again. That single breath can be enough to achieve focus or calm. Or we can work with counting the breaths. For instance, counting two in and three out and two in and three out. And so on. And like I said earlier, we want to recognize when other things come up for us, an emotion, a thought, sensation, a sound. And rather than blocking them out, fully recognize what it is that's taken your attention and making a list. I'm trying to do too many things at the same time. I'm worrying about a conversation that already happened. And then gently, kindly bring your attention back to the breath in the body.
put our attention on. Come. A job around the house. So that instead of these things dominating our days, they happen in concise, focused chunks. We should also remember from time to time, while focus is brilliant, it's really important to take some breaks. I hope this has been a break for you. Together, let's take a deep, slow breath in. And just let that go. One more of those in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Allowing your body to become soft and relaxed and supple on the next exhale. (sighs) Let's invite in something today that we want to give some of our time and attention to. and resolve to do our best, but to be kind to ourselves at the same time, to take breaks, to remember that the goal is not perfection. It's simply balance. If you haven't already please start to open your eyes and reconnect with your environment. It's my great pleasure to do these sessions. I hope you get something out of them. I wish you a very beautiful rest of your Monday, or if you tuned in later, rest of your day. Ah. Head to the Levitate website if you're interested in what else we do. There's a podcast. There are classes. We're teaching a lot of remote workers right now. Um, And there are opportunities to get involved as a teacher or in other roles. So, um, yeah, keep connected. However isolated you're feeling, know that Uh, We're all in it together. And I hope to see you back here soon for another episode of Levitate Live. Thank you so much.